Jim with Alltech Plumbing here. Here we are, sunny morning, Southern California, and we're doing a roof drain replacement. And uh, I wanted to show the existing roof drain, and then we're going to show the replacement drain and why the replacement drain system is better than what they have here. And so what we have here is this is actually the roof drain. Uh, some kind of a uh, device they made to go down into the roof drain. And what's wrong with this drain is they mounted it to the bottom of the plywood, which it should not be. The roof drain should be sitting on top of the plywood, supporting it. <clears throat> this is actually the roof drain here. It's so poorly installed it was continually leaking down inside the building, and you can see the rust accumulated around the roof drain itself. So we're going to proceed with installing uh, the new roof drain, and uh, the new system that we're going with is a system designed by Alltech Plumbing. It's a roof drain pan and a large roof drain. And this is what it looks like right here. This will be going over there, and that will be the next shot that, that you'll see. Okay, so at this step, what the plumber is going to do, he's getting rid of the old drain. He's taking it out of there. It's been there so long. Oh, good, it's coming out fine. Okay, good. And so there it is, it's gone. Now, his next step is he has to get the pan that you see behind him there. He has to get the measurement of the sump or the lowered portion of the pan, which he's just done right there, okay? And he's going to transfer that over to the open area that he has to work with and he's got to cut that that roof open to match that sump area So on this step right here, <clears throat> what the plumber's done, he flipped the drain pan over and he's marked the roof uh, so he knows how much um, roofing he needs to cut out of the way to have the drain pan sit flat on the, on the plywood. So there's a lot of unnecessary framing that we're taking out that they put in for the old drain. Uh, it was installed so incorrectly that all of this framing is completely unnecessary for for the new uh, the new drain that we're putting in. The new drain, by the way, is model LPD, uh, available at RoofDrainPans.com for sale. And the size drain that's being used it's actually a 15-inch drain and this pan fits between joists that are 24 inches on center. Okay, in this scene, we want to do demonstrate that we have rafters running east or east-west direction. There's one, there's the other. The other thing is that the plumber has cut out the plywood between the joists. And that section that he's cut out corresponds exactly to the lowered portion or the sump area of the sheet metal roof drain pan. So what he's going to do now is he's going to flip over the whole unit and it's going to sit right perfectly flat right down in that square that he just cut out.
Okay, now you'll notice that the flange on the left or nearest the plumber sits directly over the first joist. The flange opposite that sits directly over the second joist. And those can be uh, screwed in or nailed in uh, for excellent uh, adhesion to the roof. And if you take a notice behind the plumber, here are all the materials that were used on the previous installation, most of it which were unnecessary. Naturally, you need to have a roof drain. Uh, quite a bit of the roofing was unnecessary, and of course, all the framing was unnecessary. Another feature uh, on this roof drain sump pan I wanted to point out, these are the four bolts that anchor the pan to the drain. Uh, very heavy duty, 3 8 bolts and washers. It's a 100% cast iron roof drain with a 3 inch no hub outlet. And this drain is available on the market almost anywhere that you buy plumbing, plumbing parts.